Hello everybody, Root Beer here, and in this video I thought I would construct a golden rectangle using only a straight edge and a compass. So a golden rectangle is one whose sides are in the ratio of 1 to root 5 plus 1 over 2, the golden number or golden ratio as it's sometimes called. Okay. So this is a really nice looking rectangle. The first thing we're going to do is get ourselves some points. And these points here we're going to we're going to name them A and B and these will represent our unit distance. Okay. So we're going to draw a line between them. So we need one side of the rectangle to be our unit distance and then the other side of the rectangle to be uh, root 5 plus 1 over 2 times this distance. AB is going to stand in for our, our unit, our 1. But we're not going to use this AB as the side of our rectangle. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this length on a perpendicular line going through A. So we need a perpendicular line going through A. Great way to do that, use our compass tool. We specify a point and, uh, for the center and the point it goes through. This simulates a compass for us. And it's going to connect A to B. And this other point here will distinguish. Might even call him C. Uh, he's going to be over here. Now, A is the center of this circle, so he's halfway between these two points. So if we were to create a perpendicular bisector of this length using a compass tool, then it would have to, since a perpendicular bisector, it's going to have to pass through A at a right angle. And so it does. Not only that, we get this point up here. Now, because A to B was the radius of, of our, our smaller circle here, we've got A to this brand new point here is our unit distance. Okay. So, we've got our unit distance for one side of the rectangle. We're going to have to duplicate it, but we're also going to have to get the root 5 plus 1 over 2. Well, how do we get that? Well, what we're going to do uh, now is uh, we've got a lot, uh, we've got a circle going start uh, whose center is A going through B. Let's get a, a circle who starts uh, center at B and goes through A. And we get our points here. And now draw the line going through here. Now this bisects AB. So we have a point right here. And if we were to connect up uh, our A. I'll, even, I'll show you with a line. So we get connecting these two points and A together. A's got a right angle at it, so we've got a right angle triangle. And what are the side lengths of this uh, triangle? Well, A to this, uh, the, this top point here, that's the unit distance. That's 1. And this other, this other leg of our, our uh, perpendicular, our right angle triangle, is... Well, it's half of AB, and AB is the unit distance, so this is one-half. So we've got one, one-half. What's, uh, what's this hypotenuse here? One-half squared is one-quarter, plus one-squared is one. It's five-quarters. We square root it by Pythagoras. So this length here, this hypotenuse of this right-angle triangle, is going to be root five over two. Square root of five over four is root five over two. Well, don't we need a... We need root 5 plus 1 over 2. We've got root 5 over 2. What do we need to do? We need to add on a half. Well, here's a half down here. So if I take away this line for a second and instead have a center here, now connect it up, as long as it goes through this point, this circle has a radius of root 5 over 2. So we have root 5 over 2, say, from the center to this point over here, and a to that point is one half, so one half plus root five over two is root five plus one over two. Okay, so let's uh, let's name this brand new point J. Actually, matter of fact, since we're going to use this point, we should name him up here F. Okay, so A, F, and J. These are these are going to be vertices of our, our rectangle. We have the unit distance AF. And we have AJ, the root 5 plus 1 over 2 distance. Now we just need to finish up our rectangle. Well, how are we going to do that? So, we need to get a right angle at F. We need to get a right angle at J. Now the lines going through those will meet at another point. 
uh, and and that'll that'll make our rectangle there. So we've got to get a line going through F perpendicular to AF. How do we do that? Well, grab our compass tool. We're going to give ourselves a little bit of space. So A to F, and that gives us a brand new point up here. So now we can do, so F is the center of this line, so if we bisect it, we have a line going through F perpendicular to AF. So we get a right angle here. Well, we've got a right angle at A. Now we just need to get a right angle at J. And wherever these lines intersect, that'll give us our, our final point on, uh, on our rectangle. So let's uh, get something going through J that's perpendicular. So we draw J to the nearest point, let's say B. And now J is the midpoint between B and this brand new point. So it's perpendicular bisector time. We get a point there, and we get this point down here, and we pass through them. And now this is running perpendicular to J. Now I know one of these circles that I drew, uh, which one? This one right here, the one that's slightly highlighted, looks like it's going through this point, but if we zoom in close enough, you realize it was just a trick. There's nothing special going on. It doesn't intersect. Okay. So we got A, F, J, and now we have the intersection point right here. We'll even give him a name. That's Q. A, F, Q, J has sides in the ratio of 1 to root 5 plus 1 over 2. So. Let's, uh, let's clean some of this up a little bit so we can see our rectangle. We'll get rid of some of these points. We're going to keep B. Just because I'm going to show you that this this really only matters with the, the A and B, so we're going to move all uh, move it all around. We're going to keep only the named points. Okay, and uh, for fun, we'll get the segment tool out and we'll use sort of a gold. And we'll connect these up. Okay, so this gives us a golden rectangle. And we can even move it about. It really is a fully connected rectangle. And it really depends only on the A and the B. Okay. And because we know, I mean, I did go by, I did go and explain through the, the Pythagoras. We do know that from A to J, it really is root 5 plus 1 over 2 times A to F. Okay. So now you could go and uh, if you follow the steps and if you need to, slow down the video or, or pause and backtrack, but you can follow the exact same steps with a straight edge and a compass just like I did and erase all your extra work and do some of those uh, other circles, the extraneous circles in light pencil so it's easier to erase, but you can create your own golden rectangle. Not only that, I'm going to try, I didn't practice this earlier, I, I practiced the, the golden rectangle to make sure I could remember how I do it properly. But uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to see if I can create the golden spiral. And that is a spiral of squares that are sort of nested in one another. Okay. So we've got to uh, get our segment tool back out. So now A, F, B, and this other point here form a square. And B, J, Q, and this point here forms a smaller golden rectangle. So what can we do? Well, we can get rid of this, this purple line here. And we can make another square. And we'll make a series of squares that slowly spiral in towards the center. We'll go about this for a little while, but I'm just showing you, you can still use straight edge and compass and create yourself a golden spiral. Now this 
smaller rectangle up here in the corner, it's also a golden rectangle. That's one of the nice things about the golden rectangle. So let's let's do it again. Q to this new point, this new point to Q. Quite connect them up quite nicely and then erase our work so it looks really nice. So we've got squares and here's another golden rectangle. Oops, double clicked. Okay, now I'm not actually sure this one worked, so we're just going to uh, delete him and get a new one. another square and another golden rectangle. I'll do it uh, maybe one more time. I think you guys are probably getting bored of it as well. But I just, I, it's so nifty and we can keep going. And if we add a large sheet of paper, oops, that one's definitely off. If we had a large enough sheet of paper, we could, we could make a giant spiral of these squares that slowly go in. And at the center, we always have a golden rectangle. Okay. But, but that's it. And all of this can be done straight edge and compass. I remember when I saw this uh, way back when we can even zoom in a little bit. We'll do what we'll do one more and then I'll wrap the video up. But I remember when I first saw this when I was in oh I think grade eight maybe. Now, I was never much one for for the, the uh, straight edge and ruler constructions because you don't do it a whole lot in school and uh, you know it doesn't it's not a very practical thing but it's quite interesting to know that even with these limited tools how much geometry we can do and I can even show you all of these are just based off the A and the B and it's going a little slow I think because it's got a lot of points to recalculate and everything but uh, there it is very nifty and we could keep going each one of these is a smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller square so, thank you guys for watching this has always been my favorite of, of the constructions because this one isn't a practical one it's just a beauty one it's just a beauty one um the other ones like uh, how to construct a parallelogram or how to duplicate a length or or other things like that. Those are constructions you do when you're trying to learn geometry from, say, Euclid's elements or something. But this, this is just some fun math, and it's something you can appreciate if you are a mathematician, you understand the golden ratio, you understand Fibonacci. It's just wonderful. I could go on about it, but I think I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching, and uh, happy, happy uh, ge geometing, geometrin. Have fun creating pictures is what I'm trying to say. Have fun with this one. I'll see you guys later.